what's up everyone so the new events out it is awesome well it's not awesome right this second because i can't get to a low pop server like i wanted to but you know it is what it is but for all, all of you guys that are trying to figure out well the events here what should i be doing i want to capitalize on the situation as soon as possible well you've come to the right place because i'm going to tell you exactly what i'm going to be doing as soon as i can get off this 1700 population server but anyway um yeah let's get right into it so i've got a bunch of guides already out already published on different aspects of the fair and what you can do what different things there are and how you know you can efficiently you know power through the reputation and all that stuff so be sure to check my channel for those different medley fair videos I have a video on how to get the most tokens as quickly as possible. I also have a video on how to level up the reputation that's required to buy these great things. Um, so be sure to check those out. But this video is just a basic guide on what you should be focusing on and you know, how to get started. So number one, each town is gonna have one of these guys. So you're gonna wanna go to every single town when you first log in for the day and grab all these. They're going to give you you know some diamond gypsum that you could turn into uh, gypsum cast or gypsum orbs blah 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 and they give you a little bit you know they give you a little bit of gold too and they're just little presents that you open up you're going to get some tokens some gold and you want all the tokens and gold you can get now second thing is you're going to want to start on the quest line and just power through that as quickly as possible so if you look at the map there's gonna be four different Medley Fair locations. Um, I know you guys are wondering because I see people asking in chat all day long, how many fairs are there? How do you get to them? It's easy. You, you can fast travel to them. So there's one in, where is it? Everfall, right up here at the corner. There's one in Brightwood up on the top left corner. There is one in Monarch's Bluff at the bottom left. And then the last one is I think First Light? Oh, here it is, up in Weaver's Fen. That's the other one. And you do have to unlock these before you can fast travel. So just go over here to Bear Claw Shrine or, you know, just find one that has a fast travel that's pretty close. We'll actually go over here and take a look at that one. Oh, and one very important note. I've seen a lot of people do this. Do not make this mistake because Azoth is going up in price. Make sure when you go to use your Azoth, it brings up the salvage menu now. And you don't want to salvage all 400 or 2000 of them it will use them all so make sure you only do the number that you need and if you're completely out of azoth 20 will get you a full thousand azoth so be very careful but anyway we're just going to travel up here and we're going to unlock this festival so once you get to the festival very very simple just go up to the maestro and this is where you're going to start your first quest and progress through the different ranks so just accept this quest and i'm not going to go into detail about how to do every single quest they're super super easy just knock them all out and by the time you're done you should be right around uh, maybe bard you know right around here and the rest of the way you're going to have to just grind through and i have a great video that shows the best way to just power through and get the most reputation you can so this is how you get started and these are all the different things that you can get once you reach these different milestones. And if you're watching this video because you wanna use the event to make money, I highly suggest you get to Maestro as soon as possible because you can make these patterns that are gonna be selling for a lot of gold. And also another nice thing about this is, you know, you get a pretty decent fishing pole if you haven't started the fishing quest line, you know, the, the main quest line in the game, this is actually a really decent fishing pole to use. Um, so that's another thing that you can get by unlocking Maestro. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically, you know, just how you get started. Just power through the different quests and, you know, progress through all the different stuff. Now, that brings me to my next thing, fishing. Fishing, right now, we have double experience for fishing and for music. So you're going to want to take full advantage of both of those when you're doing this. And another thing that you're going to want to do is make sure... You grab a bunch of these um, drinks that will actually give you 
25 fishing XP and fishing luck for 25 minutes. So you wanna have these the entire time that you're fishing. And since fishing plays such a big role in this event, and again, I have a great video that shows, you know, what kind of fish you're gonna be catching, what you can do with the fish, you can mount the fish at the mount to fish station. The fish that you catch, you can also get these legendary items that you turn into this fire right here, and it's gonna give you a bunch of tokens one premium token, which is like five or 25 regular tokens. And it's also going to give you experience for the fishing medley fair. And when you catch these special fish, they're called a turnum sturgeon. They're small, medium, and large. And the small ones are terrible. The small ones give you um, very, very minimal materials. And you could turn these into and change them into um, the, uh, the tokens. But the medium fish give you more materials but they also have a chance of giving you that legendary mater material. And the, the large fish almost always give this legendary material. And when you get these, like I said, you can turn them in. I have one. You turn them in, it gives you a premium token, which is huge, and it gives you 25 event reputation. And you're also going to get a lot of reputation just by fishing. You know, you get a little bit more for the, the bigger fish. So fishing is going to play a huge role. Remember, you can mount fish now. You can mount your legendary fish. If you want to see what they look like, I have a video where I actually showcase all these great fish. They look amazing. All right, but it's going to take um, a lot of time to get this. So with fishing, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you have all your fishing equipment. And I do not. In the PTR, I did. But the fishing gear is going to help you you want that colossus stuff because colossus is going to give you a better chance of getting those bigger fish and the big fish are the ones that matter these small ones don't give you very much all right so you're going to want to catch the as many large aternum sturgeon that you can and you're going to also be using the new kind of bait so again great videos on all that check it out but for the purpose of this video i want to let you know fishing gear in a nice fishing pole is going to be a must so if you haven't started your fishing chest uh, or fishing quest line, that's something you're definitely going to want to do because it gives you great stuff. And that's actually what I'm working on right this second because I can't do the, the event. There's just too many people here. All the swarms are taken. All the fishing spots are taken. It's just a crazy madhouse right now. And I'm trying to get off this server. So if you're in the same position I'm in and you really want to capitalize on this, get all get that fishing quest done and i'm going to show you how to do that right now so to start the fishing quest line and it is well worth doing the uh, quest line it's going to take a lot of time but it's a really really um, there's a lot of great rewards you're going to get a really nice legendary fishing pole and all your fishing gear so it, it, like again it takes a while but well worth it uh, you have to be level five to start it and you start out with a quest called fishing with shields and he's and Michael Shields is going to give it to you. And he is a fisherman located in the fishing hotspot right outside Windsward, right here, right on this little dock. So talk to him. He'll give you your first quest. Again, it's called Fishing with Shields. And if you've already started the quest and you don't know where you're at, just you know check your um, your quest, find out what part of the fishing quest line you're on. And if you don't know, just look it up on um, New World Database. There's a bunch of information on it, and you can see if you are on one of those quests, you know, that's part of the chain. And then you'll know where to go, what to do, and how far you've got to uh, finish your quest. So there you go. Now, if you're just doing, um, you know, the medley fair event just to get, you know, these house decorations and the different emotes, you don't have to worry about anything, you know, take your time, enjoy the festival. If you're like me and you've never really fished before this event, you're going to notice some absolutely beautiful places in new world it just there's some fishing spots that just you know i've got so many screenshots let's just put it that way um, but yeah there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can get you know you can get new emotes you can get skins for your fishing um, again you can get a couple different fishing poles you can get some of these uh these items i'll actually show you i have a couple and you know they're just like the the winter convergence you know patterns they're going to have a unique look and um you know you can check out my video on what they all look like uh, when i was on the ptr i did all this stuff and i got absolutely everything so you can see what some of the house decorations look like but if you are using this festival to get a lot of money 
Again, you're going to want to follow that video that I made on how to get as many tokens as you can and how to just power through the different reputation stages and how to get the most, um, you know, faction or reputation points that you can. There's two separate videos, one for each, but I really think these are going to um, be a lot of money when they're on the market. And I'm trying to get there as quickly as I can, but again, I can't because of the server transfer. So I'm going to just try to do it on this server with all these people, but it's going to be a pain in the ass. But that's really the main way that you're going to make money with the event is by getting these. Now, if you're interested in, um, there's another good way to make money using the fishing aptitude chest, because the aptitude chests are going to now contain fishing equipment. And when I was looking, because, you know, I wanted to, I didn't want to have to do this whole quest line. I just want to, you know, buy up this vengeful fisherman stuff. Well, after a while, when people start popping open those aptitude chests, you're going to see fishing equipment go on for, go for sale. So you might want to check your mark or your trade post to see if uh, you could skip that part of the quest line and just, you know, buy all of your stuff. Um, that's, you know, that's another option you have as well. Um, again, these are going to be all over the place because when on the PTR, when I made these, um, they're all buying and equipped so you could sell them on the marketplace. And so far, everything that I encountered in the PTR has made it to live. So if you want to bypass, you know, the fishing quest and you have a lot of money, maybe you could just buy your stuff and then just buy a nice, you know, nice fishing pole. But I think the quest line is going to give better stuff. So, you know, it might be worth just doing that. Um, but another cool thing that you can get with the event and help you get more um, more of those aptitude chests is extra experience and you can actually get three fishing trophies that are going to give you 10 percent extra experience each and they do stack now you can't use this fishing um, trophy and the luck trophy you have to pick one or the other so you can have three of these or you can have three of the luck trophies or you can mix and match them but that's another thing that you can get, you know, if you're not really trying to make money, you just want to get all this cool stuff. That's another thing to look forward to when you hit Maestro is this trophy. And it is really cool. And in order to mount your legendary fish, if you're one of those guys that are more into RP and, you know, you just want to show off your really cool fish, you're going to have to get Maestro to get these vials. And it takes these legendary vials to mount your legendary fish. And they look really, really awesome. Again, if you want to see what they look like, check out the video it's really cool and i think it's well worth the time spent getting to maestro absolutely no doubt about it now the instruments if you're wanting to just you know get your instruments going and stuff like that you get your first instrument right here at this fair you just do the first quest and it's going to walk you through getting a couple instruments but it's only going to give you the guitar to start out with everything else uh, i'm pretty sure you're going to have to craft those and those are going to be crafted at the furnishing station so Either way, in order to really progress through this event, it's going to take a lot of fishing, a lot of fishing and even more fishing. So it's really important to have that good gear. Now, one more thing, it's not really, I mean, it's tied into the event, but it doesn't, you know, it's not something that you have to use the event for, but some really big changes that have been happening are pearls. And this is another reason you're going to want to, you know, make sure you have all that fishing gear and start fishing and get a good fishing pole because the brilliant pearls are going for a lot of money right now and it's because the brilliant pearls are used to craft the guitar and you know when it comes to crafting the different instruments it's not too bad but when it comes to crafting the guitar and the legendary guitar you're going to have to use brilliant pearls and those are going for very 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 much money right now they're they're almost 2000 a piece so this is just another thing that i wanted to mention since we're talking about fishing um, you're going to want to have you know all your best fishing gear you're going to want to have a really great pull and the event will give you a nice pull you know but you have to get all the way to maestro so another reason to use the event but once you have uh, enough you know good fishing stuff start fishing for those brilliant pearls they're going to be a pretty good money maker right now Again, doesn't really have to do with the event, but it is because of the event and because of the new instruments that were added, you know, with this patch that these pearls are going for a lot of money. So remember, fishing, fishing, and more fishing. So if you guys have any questions, um, I or if you're looking for a particular video on, you know, 
where the best fishing spots are, how to get the most reputation, how to get the most tokens. You know, I have videos for each one. So let me know in the comments. And if you can't find the video, I will just, uh, I'll list it for you. You know, I'll give you the link straight to the video so that you guys can find out more details about how to do all these things. And, you know, like I said, there's, there's people that want to just get to Maestro as quick as possible. And there's people that are looking to get the most tokens that they can get because they want to buy up all those legendary patterns. So I have stuff for all of you. So just let me know if you have a you know hard time finding anything and either message me on Discord or leave a comment and I'll get right to you. All right, so thank you so much for watching. You all have a great day.